walking through Advent. Um, I hope you're good today. Um, um, we're on day three. Day three and, and yesterday was day two which is a really sad day. It was the fall uh, and we talked about that God created everything good and he created people in his image, his image bearers as good to be in a perfect relationship um, with him. Um, and then they just, you know, that the snake gets involved um, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, Adam and Eve sin against God and don't take kind of accountability for them when, when they're challenged by God and it's really, really just some saddest, saddest verses uh, in the Bible in chapter 3 uh, in Genesis. I'd like to tell you it gets really better um, but it doesn't. It, it goes on from Genesis. We have the story of Cain and Abel. It's the first um, discussion or argument uh, about worship and style of worship in some sense. Um, but it, 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 you know, it ends up in death, and, and the world gets worse and worse and worse and worse. It's not a happy place at all. Uh, there's a few good spotlights, but in there is God's promise. God's promise um, that He will send the Messiah uh, he, through the seed. Uh, of the woman. But we're up to um, Noah, the story of Noah. You, Noah uh, is a children's story, uh, but it's not very child friendly. It's a really sad, sad story. Um, and I'm just going to read John chapter 6, verses 6. And this is where the world go up to. Yeah? Uh, it, it says, The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on the earth, and he saw that everything that they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. That is heartbreaking. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Everything and everybody, uh, when God looked down at them, was consistently uh, evil in their thought. And I, I always wonder what God would think of us now when he looks down at our world. Um, how, how would he be thinking? God is heartbroken. God is absolutely heartbroken. So God, you know the story, he sends a flood um, very sad, everything is destroyed, but in that God also sends redemption to one man who is saved by his faith called Noah and his family is saved. And you know the story of the ark, they go through the challenge of, 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 of the time at sea in the ark and, and the, the, the floods come and, and, and it must have been really sad. But this man built a big boat uh, in the middle uh, of the desert, in the middle of the desert through faith, he was saved by his faith. Do you know what? That's what we're saved by. We're saved by our faith in Christ. And almost the ark is a picture of the salvation uh, of Christ. And we're saved uh, through him, through the floods um, of, 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 of judgment, uh, really. So, so even though it's a really sad story, there's a, there's a wonderful message and a picture of the Messiah coming. Jesus is coming and he's a picture uh, of the ark. So, so I'm going to put Noah, we've got uh, a Noah's Ark, and, and that is a picture uh, of Christ. Um, and we, we, we are saved and kept safe through the storms of judgment um, in the Ark. Yeah, if you're not in that Ark, uh, there will be judgment again. And uh, come to Jesus, come to Christ, and we'll pop it on. Amen. Oh,